You're just saying that because you can't stand the thought of me and Belinda being happy. I'm saying it because I care about you, Willie. It's a bit convenient, isn't it? Nobody says a word about Bob till you turn up, then suddenly he's as bent as a three-pound note. I'm just asking you to be careful. At least wait till Ken gets back. I understand why you're doing this, love. I know how you must feel. Do you think I find this fun, Willie? Do you? Do you think I get a kick out of playing the poor wee wife to a load of total strangers? I could have left after I saw you. I could have been on the train, but I stayed. Because I thought even if you are a spineless git most of the time, this time maybe it wasn't all your fault. I'm sorry. I really am. But I know what I want. No point lying to you about that. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Barnett, but it's long past my lunch. Mr. Knight, can I get you another drink? Now, yeah, but what do you, Bob? Willie. Where have you been? You've kept us tonight waiting. It's important. All right. Just providing it's a quick one. Now, what's up? Listen, I've been thinking. I'm not so sure it's such a good idea signing the house over in Belinda's name. Ah, oh, look, Willie. We've been through all this before. If you don't sign, Moira will be entitled to her share of the house. There'll be nothing you can do about it. Right, Kelly, Very good. Look, right. Cheers, Kelly. Kelly. Look, you like Belinda. You trust her, right? Yeah, sure. Can you agree it makes sense financially? Of course. Don't worry. I can't lead your life for you. It's your decision. You've asked my advice, it's up to you whether you listen. Yeah, right. I just get cold feet, I suppose, yeah. Well, it's a big step. It's understandable, right? Well, it looks like he's going to go ahead and buy the house. Mine's made up. Won't do any good. I wish I knew where Ken was. It's not like him to let us down. Poor girl. Well, it's their problem. She's distraught. Come on, I'll get you a drink. There's nothing we can do. Right then, Mr. Connolly. Now, I've got a banker's draft here for the purchase, if you care to go back. Oh, just sign here, Mr. Connolly. And here. Willie, you be careful. You've read the small print, young man. Don't make a balls of it. Hey, Ken tells me, Mr. Barnett, you're looking after some of my players. It's news to me. So what about Barnett and his lady friend? Huh. Up to their knees in trouble by now. You must think I'm daft going back to him after all this. No, I don't. Well, I don't know. Perhaps he has learnt a lesson, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I doubt it, Mr Boone. I doubt it. Now, young Connolly, you do know how lucky young man you are, don't you? Yeah, I do, Brian. Thanks. Do you? <laughs> hey, this is not a playground anymore. This is serious business. This is work. Ask Mr Crawford. Oh, it's quite definitely, Brian. Yes, definitely. Well, it's okay, Dad. I think we should talk before you do anything. Listen. I think Mr. McGregor wants your autograph, Brian. Oh. My pleasure, sir. 